Hello once again. We are here in Magadi at a place called Oloiri where we are trying to unveil why doesn't Maasai community have toilet. Follow us on www.1manyata1toilet.org as we continue to unveil the mystery. On my left hand side we have uh, our friend Jeremiah. Jeremiah, just say hi. Hi. And Jeremiah is a community health trained volunteer. On my right hand side we have Lucy. Lucy. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to ask Lucy, if I come to your house and you feed me, I eat, I'm full and I want to go to the toilet, where do I go? Because there is no uh, toilet around, mm. I can just go down there to the bush. To the bush. Yeah. So if I I come, I am full. You will just tell me to go to the bush. She's saying I can just tell you go there because there is no elsewhere. There is no elsewhere. Okay, do visitors have a special bush and father a special bush and mother special bush and children a special bush? She says uh, kids has a, 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 a place to, to show them and visit us. A, a, a place to show them. Maybe visit us a strong bush. Yes. <laughs> a bushy area. Yeah. So the children will have somewhere they can go and then the visitors go somewhere. Okay, it's okay. Thank you very much for that. I would like to know, uh, because we understand that cholera, dysentery, and uh, typhoid is, a, is a, a disease which can be transferable or contracted easily because of open defecation in Maasai land. Uh, how did she come to understand that she was sick from uh, typhoid or cholera? She said she had started, she had wake up on, in the morning, mm. then she go to church after one. Mm. She started the diarrhea and vomiting. Oh. And that's the time she realized that she's sick. So she started diarrhea and vomiting continuously. Yeah. And uh, did you come to see her as a community health worker or how did it happen so that he got she got healed? It's a bit far by then, mm. but she she told she told their husband to, to take her to the hospital. hospital. Where Magadi? Uh, Oloika. Oloika. Yeah. And that's what that's when uh, it was the cholera that she has a cholera. Yeah. Oh, was well, she admitted in the hospital? Yes. How many days? That doesn't go long, little bit. What? No, no, ah, this is very early. One month. One month. Uh, this is the, 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 the type of patient that we, one of the patients that we have been at this kind wow. of So more than fifty. Because more than fifty patients were admitted at Oloika yeah. because of just the problem of cholera, which was brought up by open defecation. Yeah. And for us she spent a whole whooping one month in the hospital. Yeah. And I understand that she had a kid. Tell me the story about it. 
amaa amu itu ibik apa nanu olong'i ong'uan niata enkerai tiang kaja pee ikunari inye esiai ina kerai kinyi ore naa ena tesipa ilo ake atuki enkerai ahomo naa metaa mayiolo enatii neeku oltung'ani laibelekeny naa ninye alo adumu narishieki naa enkerai irmaasae ake mautu ninye kuna irmaasae naokishie neeku enkerai neshuki emanyata enkerai naa arri neshuki emanyata asana tine ara ntae nepuo aibung'a mpaka kenya neshuk Oh, she said uh, by then she was unconscious. So the the, 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 the she was unconscious yeah, at the unconscious. hospital. Yeah. So the other member to take the child to, to home, back to home. The child. Yeah. How old was the child at that time? One year. One year. Mm -hmm. So that's the time he stopped the treatment. So uh, because of disease, the impact the child was. He, uh, negatively impacted, yeah. and she was not able to continue uh, breastfeeding. breastfeeding. Yeah. Wow.